so a role. <coughs> What's your name? Uh, Naomi, I'm playing. Uh, I'm playing Rebecca DeVarco. Woo! Woo! I still feel a lot of the rattles after so many of the in the last half of my career. We're quickly going to do a few things. That's you. That's me away. Um, hi, my name's Leo. Um, I'm your going to be your <laughs> games master for the next two hours. Uh, so this hour and the one after it. Uh, this is Adventurers Wanted, a tabletop role-playing game, uh, which means that the four people around me uh, have individual unique characters that they're playing in a fantasy setting. As the games master, I play the fantasy setting. Uh, the uh, monsters that they create, the allies that they break, um, and the, uh, the, 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 the creatures that go away for 12 years come back and bite you in the ass. Um, yes, uh, as, as things may be. So uh, we interact with each other using dice um, to keep things fair or hilariously unfair, depending on how things go. Um, and uh, a one tends to be really bad, 20 tends to be excellent. Now there's over 240 hours of backstory, so um, let me condense that into 30 seconds. Um, the crew were uh, members of, uh, the characters are crew members of the Spirit of the Horizon, a scientific research vessel, which uh, on its last official mission awakened an ancient evil god, and in trying to get away from its ancient evil god, cast a spell that flung them into a new reality. Over the next two months, they spent time uh, desperately trying to recreate the spell so that they could get back home. Unfortunately, in the meantime, uh, the ancient evil god destroyed their home. Their entire planet was decimated. Um, and just when they found out, uh, uh, just when they found all of the tablet pieces and were ready to cast the spell again, uh, it turns out that <laughs> the, uh, the god had its uh, sights set on uh, the world they're on next. The spell they cast claims the life of Relora, the commander of the ship, as well as Bella. Uh, Relora, <laughs> commander of the ship. Never That's just in Bella. case Oz is watching. Um, uh, commander of the ship, um, mostly beloved, but by the end of her reign, she was she was starting to get a bit pissed off at everybody, to be honest. Um, you were um, played by Chloe, who's in the audience there. Um, she died, and Cthulhu came to this world and started wreaking havoc. So the players decided to do what they do best. They created an alliance of the armies. Uh, surely, if all nations band together, they'd be able to defeat Cthulhu. No. Um, no, they all died. Uh, oops. Including that dragon turtle you were helping fight. Uh, they had managed to get it as an ally, uh, but now it's dead. Um... <coughs> And so their final last ditch attempt to kill this thing is to go to, to lure it underneath the flying city of Clathid, destroy the magic uh, orbs, or orb, the big one, that keeps it floating in the air, and hopefully drop the thing on Cthulhu's head, dealing a massive amount of, for massive damage, as it were. Um, they fought their way through the streets of Clathid to get to the orb room, and at that point... Golan, who will introduce himself in a moment, decided to reveal the fact that he was on the side of Cthulhu all along and started uh, battering uh, the crew members, specifically Breeder. While all that was happening, the ship down below was glowing with a mysterious golden light and the current captain, <laughs> Galbert Twinkletoes, heard a strange, mysterious voice in his head saying that she would send help. We'll come back into this situation. It's a very clutch, moment-to-moment uh, -moment fight, uh, just in a moment. But uh, let's meet our players and their characters. So starting on my right here, tell us your name, your character's name, and give us a little bit about your history and how you feel right now. Not great. Hi, uh, I'm Naomi. I'm playing Brina Froddle. She's the head of arcane research on the ship. She's a known wizard. Um, I'm going to give a little bit of context to why she's so mad, because I didn't get to in the last hour. Yes. Essentially, Golan, when he was captain, was treating her a lot like a utility wizard in that she was 
just called upon to, to fix things that she couldn't always fix. And uh, she got really mad at him. She started hating everyone on the ship. She was going to cast the spell that summon Cthulhu here and give her life for it because she didn't care anymore. She got pushed out of the way by Relora, which is how Relora and Bella, which is <laughs> how they died. Um, and so she threw herself into research trying to defeat this thing. And now she's going to kill him. Hmm. <laughs> she's going to try. Um, she's going to win. Seagull. Uh, my name's Abs. And my character's name's Seagull. And I'm a fighter. And um, that's... Uh, I'm a ship's. I was a former ship's cook. Uh, last time you played. Last time I played, oh, nice. and so I'm going to continue with that. And I'm here to kick some ass. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. somehow survived the the onslaught, and the, you're coming through on the other side. I am Golan Height, Chthonic Knight, servant of Cthulhu, inhabitant of the weirdness where hope is a foolish dream, nightmares are made flesh, and escape mm. is a temporary state. Mm. Boo! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> and I can't follow that. <laughs> no. At least how's your name in your class? Come uh, on. <laughs> yeah, my name, my name is Graham. Uh, I'm playing the halfling rogue Callahan Jones, uh, who got into this for adventure's sake, but um, I think over the course of the adventure, he probably feels like some political motivations are taking over, and he's actually doing it for height relations now. Uh, really, really feels That's like good. There's, some yes. heightest, there's some heightest stuff going on here. Yeah, lot. there is. I got picked up twice See, last this hour. Is what I'm talking about. Exactly. Thank you. Represent. Someone who understands Represent. me. Represent. <laughs> <laughs> Let's kill this guy and then talk about our political allegiances. <laughs> <laughs> you ask permission, so it's okay. Do, do, you, um, do you have a handout, uh, the PDF? I, I actually run um, a short thieves anonymous group. Uh, it was a, it was about thieves, but it's now just come Let's along talk. to support. Yeah. So anyway, um, can we get the fight music back up, please? Cool. So, as I mentioned, uh, down below the ship was engulfed in golden energy. Uh, Seagal, or Seagull, um, <laughs> you, uh, you felt this energy before. Um, I think, is this, Callahan, is this the first time it's happened to you? The golden teleportation energy that somehow, on the hour, every hour, sends new people into the field. I gotcha. Yeah, um, it engulfs your skin and you have a strange metallic taste on your tongue and then suddenly you're in this hundred foot diameter room full of crystals. Uh, in the middle is an orb and all around, uh, well, is Golan smacking. In fact, the last person you attacked was Loreth, was, was it not? Was the guy who swapped for this So guy. right in front of you, Callahan, uh, is <laughs> your one-time oh, captain. Uh, with a maul crackling with uh, eldritch energy. At this point... It's a free action to shit my pants, right? <laughs> Roll a constitution saving. <laughs> <laughs> 17. Uh, you're fine if you want to be. <laughs> so, uh, so that's where you find yourself, Callahan. We'll come to you in just a moment. We've got a couple of things to wrap up first. Firstly, firstly, it's Chauncey's turn. Chauncey! Chauncey is the captain's pet griffin who has been stood cowering. So remember, Brina was looking the... after her while he was gone. Sorry? Brina was looking after her while he was gone. Yeah, she's been stood cowering in the room as all of this started to happen. What would you like to... I mean, you've just shouted at her. Yeah. Do one of those. Can I roll an animal handling check for a Yes. Yeah. You're going to have to walk, roll pretty well. That is probably not good enough. What have you got? Uh, 15. That is good enough. It, it is. Please tell me what the hits are with the modifiers. I had walls in my head. Um, Chauncey looks at you, looks at Brina, and she knows who she imprinted on. <laughs> she comes straight for Brina. <laughs> she misses both times. Oh. <laughs> oh, next time, Chauncey. She's, she, she, she's not happy. This huge, this large griffin comes up behind you. Claw attack. These claws probably as big as you. Mm -hmm. Beak! Uh, no, just missed. Uh, you're too small. Mm -hmm. At this point, the golden glowing energy, which Brina, you're used to seeing, which has deposited 
Callahan and Siegel with us <coughs> hasn't dissipated. It stays around them. It moves off them. It coalesces oh, no. into a form. Oh, no. A humanoid form. The humanoid form has a weird thing sticking out of its back. Wait, is that a mandolin? Is no. that? And it forms a person you know ever so well. <laughs> Where's she gone? <laughs> She's going to get her loot. Yay! Yay! Even I'm happy about this. <laughs> Relora Rel- Ellenval. Yes. And Brina, even worse. Oh God, it's a character sheet format that I don't recognize. <laughs> yeah. I'll talk you through it. I know later. You'll, um, what's your, your deck score's 50. Uh, yeah. Um, you'll, you'll have a, you'll have a few moments to read through it. You'll yeah. find there's some new toys to play with. Um, ooh. So, this, cr- this, this, uh, one-time captain died trying to cast a spell and has just been brought back to life. And even <coughs> worse, Brina, Brina, even worse, you hear the voice of Sammy DeLasson go through your help head. And she just says, Brina, you must defeat him. I have sent help. In the meantime, I'm just in the corner going, I am the conductor of the choir of death! <laughs> <laughs> At this point, Sigals, having seen all of this, it's your turn. Relora's pissed off you've used a musical analogy there. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, fucking thing. <laughs> is Relora standing next to me? Also, Gulliver's feeling significant. Where Gullivan. is she? Yeah, is she, she's near you. Can we, do, can we just like stand like, yes, we're going, we're doing this? Um, how far away am I from Gulliver? Uh, probably about, where, who did you teleport in because of Dubious? Dubious, so yeah, you'd be right on top of him. No, 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 because I missed you stepped out. Oh, you missed you stepped out, 30 feet. Well, uh, so can I attack him? With Absolutely, if you use your movement, yeah. that's 30 feet, and yeah. then you've got, you can do any of these fun things here. Uh, so you've got your attack, uh, you can attack three times with one action, in fact. Yeah, can I attack as much as I can? Now, remind me, Golan, um, was your last attack reckless? Yes, it was. So you get advantage on these rolls, which means you roll twice, and you take the higher score. So I have a reckless attack. D20. Yeah, yeah. D20, and Can then I you're, depending on what, I presume you're using your little sword. Yeah, please. Yeah, you, you'll add 12 for this. Okay. I'll hold that kettle for And roll it again. It's good to be. <laughs> it's not great, is it? No. Um, however, he, he's not wearing much armor. 18? 18 will hit. Roll damage. So. What's down at 1 you'll be, yeah. Yeah. That's been the boss. Yeah. That's great. I'll tell you what, I'll get you another d20 so that you can roll this quickly. What did you get? <laughs> One. Add seven. <laughs> Add seven. So because you're raging, uh, you take three damage. Three damage. Uh, if you, so you've got two more of those attacks that you can do. Really? So if, uh, here's another d20, yeah. so you can roll them both at the same time and then that'll be quicker. I need to. So what's the higher there? 11. 11. Doubt. 11 plus 12 is 23, so that's a hit. Roll damage. 2 plus another set is 9. 9? Yep. So you take 4 more slashing damage. 4 more. And then the last one. 13. 13 plus 12 is 25. This is going to hit right. Yeah, yep. and it's this. Oh no, it is that one. That You're one, right. Yeah. Sorry, my bad. 14, so you take seven more slashing damage. More slashing. As Sigal, the. Can you describe yourself? Um, yeah, uh, I'm. I'm medium height, solid build, a ponytail. <laughs> I uh, thought so. Tight white, sort of. Um, uniform, shirt. Yeah, shirt, absolutely. <laughs> slightly baggy of pants. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I. That's about it. So Seagull comes in and hits you three times with the sword. Uh, you barely feel it. Yeah. It's rough. Callahan, it's your turn. Hi. So I, I spawn right in front of? Yeah, you do. So what's, what, what's the situation with this? What's going on here? What, what am I seeing? So right what you're seeing is right in front of you, you've got this barbarian 
cathonic knight thing. Just behind him is Seagal, and the barbarian is turned to face him at the moment. Beyond them is a glowing orb just above, above a plinth. Right. And the or, and that is directly in the center of a room which is 100 foot in diameter, 100 foot tall, covered in uh, blue oh, crystals. Kind of so no, no, no chandeliers or... No chandeliers, no. no. Okay. It looks more like a... Uh, uh, it looks like a grown geode, okay. if you know what I mean. Uh, what's he but wielding? really big. What? He, what, what, what are you wielding? A maul. A maul. Big maul. two-handed hammer, which um, crackles with uh, green and blue energy on the end. But he's no longer facing me. So that's, that's no. I was, I was going to try some sleight of hand trick earlier, really, but... You've got a rogue against you now. Um, but I know where he is at the moment. <coughs> so you don't. He's right behind you. You've just turned around and looked at him. Well, he's going to have to roll a stealth check. My passive is 17. Okay. It, it doesn't matter. That's not how it works. Yeah. Well, I guess I guess we'll just attack. Cause, I mean, I'm, I'm going to be kind of freaked the hell out about just being suddenly deposited in front of a... You a would be. I, I, literally, I, I literally have advantage on this attack. It'd you do. It would be really... It would be silly to pass me, it up. Ridiculous of me not to. So. Absolutely. Oh, like, I'll know. be sad if I don't get to cast the spell I want to cast, but you I won't be sad if he dies. I mean, I'm just going to... You could certainly have that. <laughs> I, I, could, I could defer. No, or, no. no you, okay. you kill him if you need to. <laughs> uh, okay, well, I guess uh, 30... That will definitely hit. 30, 30 to hit with the rapier? Yeah. Uh, that'll hit. Mm. Uh, okay, so it's I'm going to apply my sneak there. attack uh, to that. So it's, it's 1d8 plus... Uh, 8, I think. So you do it's the initial 86. damage so yeah, yeah. here, so 1D8. and then you do so, eight. So 14 from the initial. 14 from, and that, what's that, piercing? Uh, it yeah. will be with a rapier, yeah. Oh, uh, all of this will be halved for you, so 7 from the first, oh, hello, hello. Oh, I cannot You've missed some exciting times. Because we don't have to Seriously, it's a high cost Oh, it's right at the top. Oh, 86. Do you want some more D6? Uh, a couple more would be, would be lovely. Allow me. I've got, I've got absolutely tons, mate. Way ahead of you. All right. Uh, we need one more. Just the thing. Yeah. One more. There's a little tiny one. All right. So that's five, ten, fifteen. Uh, total of nineteen. That's unfortunate. Oh, that's not very high at all. Nineteen. Nineteen total. So that'll be halved to nine. Okay. And I follow that up with ha ha. <laughs> so he screams ha ha. Now you know where he is. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> um. Cool. Brina. I, using the rock that people thought were Gellos gave me that was inert. I have found a use for it as my new focus. Mm -hmm. Gonna grab that and. Stare him directly in the eye. You are, I'm going to say something in gnomish. Cool. More venom than you've ever heard. Cool. One, two, that's not going very well. Seven. Uh, that is 13 psychic damage. Make an intelligence saving throw, please. Intelligence saving throw. Nine. How much psychic damage was it again? Uh, it that was 13 nine. psychic damage. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What, what, I don't know. what was your what? saving throw? What are you casting? I'm casting Feeble Mind. What, what was oh. your saving throw? Uh, nine. Right. You, your intelligence score and charisma score is one. You cannot cast spells. You cannot activate magic items. Oh, right. He's in a mindless rage, mm -hmm. which is buffed by his Chthonic buzz. Mm -hmm. This is written into his Chthonic Knight class that he is immune to any psychic damage and any attacks on his consciousness. <sighs> the mean. spell has no effect. <sighs> <laughs> Cruel. <laughs> <laughs> That's alright, we have a backup plan. <laughs> any, anything else your turn? So what you, you feel this encroaching numbness come over your temporal lobe and you just, it's like the worst brain freeze headache yeah. you've ever had and then you just shake it off. <laughs> this is very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Whose turn is it now? Uh, Relora. The newly resurrected Relora. Revenant Relora, as we call her. <laughs> I assume I can do, I can, uh, 
I can swear vengeance on him as a bonus action. You have sworn vengeance on this creature is something you have sworn vengeance on. Okay, well she still wrote a song about it. So <laughs> <laughs> she still Go for it. very briefly. The smile on your face now twisted and bent, there being no doubt you're from hell sent. At this point I swear vengeance, no more sympathy or care. I'll wipe you from the earth her. and rejoice when you're no longer there! Just Beautiful. Get him, get him, get him. Roll an intimidation check <laughs> with advantage. Oh, I like this. Oh, with advantage. Yeah. With advantage. I like it. Oh, I like that one. 33. <laughs> she is terrifying. <laughs> now, you can't mechanically be frightened at this point in yeah. time, but she is fierce, exactly. Fierce. <laughs> I like it. How far am I away from him? Uh, it would be about 30 feet. Okay, I want to use all of my movement to go 30 feet. Uh-huh. Up to him. I want to grab him at maybe a contested. And then I want to cast Dimension Door. I'm going to contest that. Absolutely. So that's an athletics saving throw. What oh, athletics mean? check from both of you. You get advantage on this because you're raging. Yeah. Yep. I doubt it will work. Well, you don't have message. Oh, you do have message. 23. No, it's not going to work. That, oh, I was worried there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I only have, do I only have a bonus action? Uh, yeah, you only have a bonus action left. You can, you have got a bonus action. Okay. I need to ask a question because I don't fully understand what I think. That's fine. Is this an action or a bonus? That's an action. Okay, and that's, that's, that is a new uh, spell from the divine list that you have. I was asking a question. She was, when she was alive. She's now a revenant bard. Yes. Yeah. But that that takes one of your attacks. Cool. That's fine. Okay. Um, I call upon my spiritual weapon. Okay. That's a bonus action. What's yeah. what shape is it? It's like his maul, except it's glowing with fucking goodness. Yeah. <laughs> goodness maul. And I it smash gets to him attack. around the face with it. Goland, you are now surrounded. Um, roll your attack roll, Relora. Um, Revenant. What's my bonus on this? Uh, I can't your, tell wis- from this treat. your wisdom, sorry. Oh. Oh, sorry. I see It'll my be spell your spell attack. casting. I see my spell attack. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, no. Fuck! Guess what I rolled. A one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sorry. He next just time. parries it. Maul on maul. And just parries it and then grins at your face. Rage encompassing his eyes. I look straight into his fucking eyes to show that I don't care about him. <laughs> fucking terrifying he apparently he is. Yes. <laughs> we're both staring you down at this point. We're, we we're, <laughs> we're, a, we're a cathartic PG-13. <laughs> go, go and it's your it, turn. Is it my turn? Excellent. It is your turn. Excellent. Um, well, I do hope none of, all, of my students are watching. First of all, <laughs> don't forget what happens at the beginning of your turn. Yes, I'm back up to full now. Yeah. Mm. As you watch, his wounds heal up. Um, first of all, I'm going to briefly, I'm going to briefly break I'll my gaze that. to look over towards this fighter. I bite. So, his right eye is this twisted mass of green veins. Um, I need you to roll a wisdom saving throw, please. I can tell you the DC. Yes, please. For the sake of drama, I'll wait until he tells me what it is. Um, that's good because I can't do anything. It's this one here. Yeah, so 11. DC's 15. Yeah, he fails. What what effect are you trying to cast here? You've got sickening, asleep, or fear. Yeah. Oh, it's got to be terrified, right? It's got to be. Okay. You are now considered frightened of this creature, unfortunately. What that means is, yeah, I got it. What that means is you have to use your movement on your turn to move away from him, and you get disadvantage on all attacks and skill checks while he's in your eyesight. Right. Okay. Now, I've still got two attacks, right? You've got one regular attack, and you can, you've can. you got a attack. bonus action. My frenzy attack, okay. Yeah. Excellent. In that case, I'm going to run straight up to Rolora. It's like, I'm right in front you're, of you. No, you're oh. surrounded. There's no running That's here. That's fine. I'll just go for her. <laughs> you left me for 12 years! Um, reckless. 
Sure. <laughs> you sent a message! Who did you think you were speaking to? You let him know I was there. That's a twin, that's a 31 yeah. to yeah. hit. 31 will hit. And that is a 25 to hit. I asked him if you were there. He already knew. That is 23 on the first hit. Fudging hell. <laughs> <laughs> And 20, 22 on the second. 22 on the second. So 45 points of damage. Um, all attacks on uh, Golan have advantage for the next round. Uh, okay. And now it's Chauncey. Still on, still on Brina? Yeah, yes, yes, keep going for Brina. Uh, that's a, jeez, uh, say 21. Shield. Yeah, I thought so. Cool. Um, so the beak comes in, and it is just about to pluck your head off, and you just cast your... What Remind us how your shield looks. My shield is shimmery grey because of some depression induced by this one. <laughs> and this shimmery grey just sort of... Uh, almost look, looks like a parasol from where you're at. Just... Um, off of it. Seagull. It's your turn. Unfortunately, you must use your movement to run away. He provokes an attack of opportunity. <laughs> can the attack of opportunity be reckless? Yeah, you can. It's any weapon attack. Yeah. Yeah. So you've got to run away, which is which sucks. At the end of your turn, you get to save against this again. Uh, will a thirty hit? Yes. <laughs> Did you have to? It wasn't a real question, was it? <laughs> I mean... That's better. Um, that is a 21. What's he doing? So, as you run away from him, he gets, he gets an attack just because you moved out of his danger zone, as it were. Uh, so it's... it's <laughs> guys! Um, so he brings his maul down on you as just an opportunistic thing. And he does 21, 21 points of damage to you there. So that's now down to... 120. Correct. Okay. Uh, what would you like to do on this turn? <laughs> Other than movement. Um, what's the deal with the orb? So the orb is now in front of you. It's uh, probably... You ran right up to it with this movement. Um, the idea is you <coughs> have to destroy it at the right moment to bring it down on the creature below's head uh, to kill him yeah, yeah. is the idea. Um, now you know. My intelligence is not that high. I okay. just start attacking it now. You know I don't really care about the right moments. Sure, that's <laughs> fine. Roll... <laughs> roll three weapon attacks for me. These three. are not These are not at advantage. Uh, 19... Those both hit. 18. Yeah, all three of these hit. Roll they damage for me. Two of those count as critical as well, if that matters. Yes, they do. Yes. They really does matter. So that means for those two, you roll the, dub the damage die twice instead of once. Okay. Do I get plus two because of this dueling thing? Uh, that's already built into this. Okay. So I roll... So roll that. That's five times, basically. Five times. Yeah. And then add 21 because of this plus seven three times. That makes sense? Uh, yes. Yeah? Cool. So add 21. 28. <laughs> 37. 46. Thank you. Is that right? Is that right? Yeah, you wrote the same yeah, time. Yeah, it was five times. Five, five times. times. So. Three, two, three. Okay. It starts to crack. Crack. It's severely dented as you bring your sword down. Uh, do you want to flavour it for us at all? <laughs> no. No. Fair enough. <laughs> you just bring your sword I down. I got scared, ran away, and then started hacking at the nearest thing to me. Fair <laughs> enough. Um, I'm the kind of discombobulated because of his eye. 
Like, I'm just like reverting to type. If it ain't broke, if it ain't broke, break it, as I'd say. It begins to crack and. Can I make an insight check? Yeah, what are you trying to ascertain? Whether it's too early. Roll an insight check for me. Oh. Yeah. 15. There's no way of knowing. Probably. 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 But there's no way of knowing. Fine, I'll just leave that then. Um, you're five miles in the air. Um, cool. That brings us to the end of that turn. Oh, which brings us back up to Callahan. Yeah. Hi. Um, well, I, I've just been presented with yet another opportunity to apply sneak attack damage. You have. You I have. Yeah. Not, it's right nothing, there. I am nothing if not true to form. <laughs> um, Don't forget to roll with advantage. Indeed, indeed. So, yeah, I'm going to go do that. Um, what, what am I seeing sp him smash? Uh, this mystical orb, which is what you were sent In the up. middle of the room. In the middle okay. of the room. So there's, a, there's some sort of psychic residue in my head that's telling me that I need to destroy this thing? Uh, it will have been all that the ship was talking about for the last two days. Um, right. So you know the plan very well. The plan is <coughs> you destroy this thing, the city falls, and hopefully cracks on I got you. Cthulhu's head and Cthulhu yeah. dies. Yeah, no, I'm going to stab him. Um... No, I just see it as like just an egg. Just so, yeah, I was, I was oh, moment. Um, did he make a wisdom save? Yes, you can make a wisdom save. Thank you, Chaz. You can make a wisdom save to try and save against his fear effect. What a nice bad guy you are. Oh, I'll try to resist. <laughs> It persists. Don't, don't yeah, let you have to say it against it. That's it's right. That's right. What a terrible bad. That's right. I'm the nice are. one. Put it there. Uh, <laughs> don't contaminate Great my dice. Optics. Don't contaminate Great optics, everyone. Don't contaminate my dice. <laughs> you, you need 15. Did it not work? No. Ah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to slash him in the back again, stab him through the ribs. Um, Fantastic. Uh, 25 to hit. 25 does hit. No, he wasn't here for our denial. Um, <laughs> sorry, guys. So just off, oh, well, there you go, 15 straight off, and then there's... Uh, Seven. Can I take your 2d6 again? Oh, yeah, sorry, mate. Uh, no, I've got literally loads. You, you literally do? I literally do. This man in the corner has an unhealthy amount of d6. <laughs> well, balls. He has yeah. warhammer sure. levels of d6. If you're not sure you need more dice, you just roll dice to see if you need more dice. Yeah. <laughs> Plus another 21, so I guess half. Half would be 10. 10? Yep. Thank you. Cool. Uh, can I disengage as well? Like I'm, I'm sort of aware of what went, went on with the eye thing and stuff before, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take a, a, wee, a wee step back. Okay, uh, so you move your full movement back, or uh, you're using your you're using your bonus action to disengage? Yeah. Uh, I can I can actually move my full distance in a distance? Yep. Can I? Oh, in you can case, move yeah, 25 I'll, feet. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll be as far back from him as I possibly okay, can. Okay, fine. Yeah. Um, you're not aware of that. No, I'm not. But Callahan has moved away from you. <laughs> Quite wisely, I might have thought. Quite wisely. <laughs> Quite wisely. Rogues are very squishy. Uh, anything else, or is that the end of your turn? Uh, I, th I, I think, think that's, that's it. I've got. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm good with that. Okay, cool. Brina. Oh, sorry. I, I, as I stab, I go, ha-ha. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Absolutely. Brina. Uh, I am gonna point a finger at him and send out some necrotic energy. Is for this finger, finger of, of death? death? Yeah. Finger of death. Don't forget to minus one. Minus one. Uh, it's a. It's actually yeah, a Constitution saving throw, my dear. Oh. It's oh. your save. Marvelous. I'm not casting. Yeah. That's what you did there. Yeah. yeah. I'm not. I'm. I've got a twenty intelligence. Throw. Okay. That's <laughs> yeah. I haven't been rolling particularly well, which is good. Which is a shame, to be honest. Yeah, but, I know. For the sake of drama, is it? Chaz, roll it. <laughs> That's a natural 18 plus 9 is 27. Oh, gutting. It is. <laughs> it is. Well, that's half damage, so. <laughs> can, can confirm as referee. Uh, can you help me maths? Uh, sure, just what? Plus six. So that's six, nine. <laughs> it's not great. Uh, nine. Uh, 13, 18. 18. That's all of that, yeah? Yeah, those three are 18. Uh, 18, 23, uh, plus 30 is 53, halved, are we rounding down? Yes. 26, a necrotic damage. 26, necrotic damage. Thank you. Um, Relora, unless you've got anything else, Brina? Uh, I'm at full health, so... You good? Relora. <laughs> I'd like Golan to make a wisdom saving throw. 
Ooh, good. That's what fine. are you casting? Let me make the I'll tell you. Ooh. Oh, cool. Ooh. It's a cool Queen nine. Of... Don't worry about it. <laughs> hey! Nine I cast, total. I cast Vengeful Glare. I target a creature I can see within 30 feet and against which, which I've sworn vengeance. On a failure, you're paralyzed until I deal damage <laughs> to you. <laughs> until the end of my next turn. When the paralysis ends, you're frightened of me for a minute. Except, oh, your rage would drop. So yeah, you yeah. would be frightened. <laughs> um, unless somebody causes damage to me. No, oh, unless she so causes damage to you. If she causes damage to you. The rage would persist oh, yeah. if anyone Oh, if, uh, yes, yeah, yeah. sorry. Thank you very much, guys. So yeah. how does that work in terms of paralysis? You so if nothing in terms of paralysis, but uh, for the fear factor at the end there, uh, it wouldn't but come he into is effect because it's a mindless damage at the end of my next turn. Correct. That's your Which that's your action. <laughs> yes, I use my bonus action to inspire Brina. I don't sing a song. I just say I'm sorry for treating you like a utility wizard. Hey. Oh. Too little, too late. <laughs> no Golan. Not for her. No, no kiss. Golan, <laughs> it's your turn. I, I think I'm paralysed. Oh no! Wait, <laughs> Chauncey. Yeah, I'm, I'm deliberately standing uh, next to him. Just I don't know if I can. How, how, how close am I to Chauncey? Um, you, you're within melee range of Chauncey. Chauncey is in this big bag. Am I within telepathy range of Chauncey? Yes. Get the bard. Wow. Chauncey's not happy right now. <laughs> but she's gonna do what Mama says. Yeah. Poor Chauncey. Uh, oh, that's much better. Can I make any kind of deck saves or anything like that? Acrobatics? No, it's just it's just a monster attacking you. Okay. Uh, so we've got 25 and 20. Yeah, yeah, those are both hit. So oh, no. the beak comes in for 12 damage. Okay. She's, she's only a challenge rating two monsters. She's not very Yeah, hot. I know, but I just know what I have to do now. And the... Oh. <laughs> and the claw comes in for five damage. What was that? I'll I'll let you find out, Chaz. I'll let you find out. Uh, is that, cool. Is that, what, is that what Chancey's done to me? That's what Chancey's done to you. Okay, that's fine. Seagal. Seagull. You're still hacking away at this orb at the moment. And I'm still scared. You're scared of him. But I will let you roll the wisdom saving throw with advantage this time because he <laughs> seems scared of something else that's on your side. Yeah. <laughs> Do I roll that now? No, it will be the end of your turn, I'm afraid. So, uh, I'm probably going to keep hacking because I'm freaked out. And sure. That's really cool. Uh, you, yeah, you do have to use your movement to run away from Golan. Uh, nice. Unfortunately. Well, even though he's not moving. Yeah. Because he could move, and if he moved, he could come and get you. This this is the thought pattern of a fearful person. Yeah, sure. Uh, but you could always swap out for your crossbow there. <laughs> <laughs> Another regular player just walked in and we're just catching her up. Sorry, stream. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Um, yeah, I'll keep, I'll keep backing off and keep shooting the orb. You want to shoot the orb? You yeah. can use the crossbow to shoot anything in the room. No, cool. <laughs> um, I'm you get focused on this orb. On this orb. You get two attacks. Because it's a crossbow, it needs reloading after a shot. Yeah. So you get two attacks because it's you use first attack to shoot, yeah. second attack to reload it, yeah. and the third attack to shoot. Is yeah. he attacking Does that make at sense? disadvantage because he's scared of me? He is attacking at disadvantage. So you roll these and take the lower. Do people have advantage on him because he's paralyzed and he's not moving? Yeah. just wanted to check. So is it a straight roll? Mm. He's not attacking you. He's, he's attacking, attacking the orb. Oh, sorry. Um, so that would be that one, which is a 15, which still hits because guess what, guys? It's, it's an a orb. Stationary orb. <laughs> um, and then the orb's not going to hit. 1d8 plus 6. It could roll. Nine. Nine damage. I'll take note of that and your second shot. Did you know about the time I really don't know? So either a crit, aren't they? So they're both crits. So roll your two d. You're critting, man. <laughs> roll two d eight and add your. Can I ask a, a quick question? Yeah. Since Rilora died before like any of the cthulhu, uh, cthulhu stuff happened, does she know about the plan? And oh, Sammy's happened? filled you in. Sammy has filled me in. Okay. It's not called the Spirit of the Horizon for nothing. Yeah. <laughs> One. Uh, Real writers. Is our friendship. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 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 
Thank you and good night. Actually, the, actually, I think you'll find the real ship is I will piss on your grave. <laughs> You're um, paralysed, be quiet. Everybody's ignoring the fact that Seagull <laughs> oh, here God. has just shot the thing twice and it is now cracking. Oh, God. Fracturing. Um, it looks very rough. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bad thing. Oh, are we trying to drop the island of Cthulhu? Yeah, yes, Cthulhu's yeah. not there yet. <laughs> it's too early. You may now roll a wisdom saving throw with advantage, which means the opposite of that. So you you take you take, take two and you take the higher. Oh, oh, oh. Eleven. Eleven. <laughs> so no, you're still frightened, unfortunately. Sorry about that, mate. Um, Callahan, yeah. you have a a paralysed target. I know, Ke- Callahan. <laughs> Callahan is just is just absolutely thrilled with himself. He's really really impressed with himself that he's managed to find advantage every single time. Whatever he's done has just gone so right. His own work, all his own work. So yeah, he just saunters up, quite the thing. Ha <laughs> ha! Little little through the air, musketeer style, and yeah. <laughs> I see what I see what you're thinking there, Jamie. Um, he's thinking, would it be an automatic critical? But uh, I don't think it would be, would it? He's paralyzed. Reese, you're the rules lawyer. He is paralyzed. He's aware of what's going on around him. He's only getting the classic critical. He's asleep. I actually have the rule right here on the other side of the DM screen. Uh, it's it's advantage. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, though. Thanks for I'll, trying I'll to help. Take I'll take it. <laughs> uh, oh, oh. I'm not going to be able to leave um, the same one until 21 to hit. 21 hit? 21 hey. will hit. Thank you so much for hitting me. I thought my rage was going to drop. Oh, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> it's just. just how I, how so I, that's sneak attack damage again. It's how I roll. Hey. Hey. There we go. Hey. There we go. That's the joke we all needed. Okay. Not the joke we deserved. <laughs> <laughs> Not after 240. You son of a... <laughs> 15. This is all halved, isn't it? This is all halved, because you're still raging. Five, so I guess 12. 12. Oh yeah, plus the actual... What would you like to do with bonus action and movement? One moment. Uh, yep, we also no get worries. an extra eight onto that, so uh, 16 total. 16 total. Yeah. 16 damage total. So I, I, I have mm. already moved. Yeah, I, I would have to move up my distance because I, I did that. So bonus action. Um, you know what? I'm just going to hang out. I'm just, cool. I'm just going to... Like, I'm, 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 I'm actually, I'm going to take my bonus action to carve my initials in his back. No, oh, nice. As, as, I, as, I, as I do that. Roll a dexterity check. Okay. <laughs> Just flat, no proficiency. That's great. Oh, come on. Can you justify to me why you would have proficiency? Because I'm badass. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Callahan Jones. Not good enough. Uh, <laughs> what has Callahan Jones been doing for the two months? Stop ago? it. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad, though. Uh, well, 15. But, oh, sorry. Are you j- well, sorry. With, with my... <laughs> with your modifier is 19. With, with, with my modifier is 19. 19. Okay, you get a very surfaceable CJ out of this. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. It's quite nice. serviceable. Okay. It's not pretty, but I, it's... I don't, have, I don't have the bonus action to then step back, but I just sort of lean back and go, aha. <laughs> um, Leo, Leo, I totally forgot to ask, but when my turn ended, did something happen? No, no, you haven't had... In terms of what? Oh, no, that's the top of your turn. Mate. Top of my turn. Yeah, cool. Um, yeah, Brina. I am going to hold um, a hold monster at 6th level, which means I can target two creatures within 30 feet of each other, and then say, Relora the Orb. Relora the Orb. And I'm going to defer my action until she drops her paralysis on Goblin. Wait, so hang I'm on. Not You're a monster, am I? Hold monster is more powerful than hold person. Oh, fair so enough. I, would, I intend I would, to cast it on Chauncey and Golem. I get that. Um, I would personally uh, rule that you can be held by hold monster. Fair enough. I think it's fair enough. Super legit. So you're holding your action. Until I'm holding my action until she drops the paralysis on Golem. Five minutes. Thank you very much. Revenant Relora. You're swearing a lot, Chloe. It's a stressful it's day. High pressure environment and. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm having the best time. 
This is a fun game, everyone. <laughs> it's a fun game. Um, can I just ask you a quick question? Mm -hmm. When a revenant swears vengeance, does that manifest in any way, like, emotionally or that kind of thing, other than what's here? You are connected to that creature. So I didn't put this down because it wouldn't be, uh, it wouldn't be uh, relevant, but uh, basically a revenant uh, cannot be killed until its duty is fulfilled. Um, and if you were destroyed, within 24 hours, your body would regenerate and you would know exactly where Golan was and you would hunt him to the ends of the earth. Okay, looking, looking, I briefly look at Brina, I say, sorry, I cannot give him the satisfaction. I go to, I'm not attacking Golan, I'm merely touching him. He's still paralyzed. Okay, but it's the end of your turn. He's going to unparalyze anyway. Yeah, but dimensions or. Oh. oh. Are we in a city with anti teleportation? Magic? It will take us to the warehouse. It will take you to the warehouse. It takes us away from here. It will. <laughs> that's that. That's been established. Fine. Let's have our jewel of the fates. Let's roll. Do it. Roll a wisdom saving throw for me, please. Do, 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 do. That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> Okay, you will take. Oh dear. Uh, you will take 14 psychic damage okay. as the strain of teleporting within the city walls uh, cuts your mind. And then suddenly, remind us or explain anew what Revenant Relora's Dimension Door looks like. Revenant Valora's Dimension Door looks like um, if you put her original Dimension Door into paint and pressed invert. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not quite sure, but it's the invert of like white, So it'll be like black, green. Red. It'll be white, black, oh. and that weird and that cyan. Weird it's cyan. It's cyan. Yeah, it's that cyan. that weird cyan that's around yeah. there. Um, can I just ask also another question? Can Revenant Valora only heal in her, her natural ways, or can she heal via potion methods? Um, no, just natural ways. Natural ways? Okay. You're, you're, you're an angel. My, my, <laughs> do I get a bonus action That's once we're lot. teleported? Do I get a bonus action once we're teleported? Yeah, why not? Okay, uh... By the way, this happens, you're, <laughs> you're gone. Oh, that's not good. You're back in the warehouse. Ah! Which used to be a warehouse, but for those of you who have joined us since, uh, it has been destroyed by a massive uh, Chthonian worm that is, these guys killed. Is there uh, anyone in this goddamn Chthonic army that can help me out here? <laughs> well, Can't now, get the stuff. now you're outside, these guys are buzzing around. I know what I'm going to do when I drop down <laughs> the um, Anyway. Uh, bonus action, spiritual weapon, glowing more still, um, and I say... Your fight is with me, not the crew. Yeah. And that is a 25 to hit. 25 hits. Um, that D8 plus my charisma. Yeah. Uh, seven. Ugh, seven. Ugh. Seven, seven what damage? One. Radiant. Se seven sp spiritual oh, force damage. damage. Force damage. Force damage. Force. <laughs> Thank you. Not slashing or piercing or bludgeoning. No, no, no. Good to know. It's my turn next, isn't it? It is your turn next, We're, if you could be quick. Okay, first of all, these things are buzzing around, right? Uh, yes. All right, can I turn to them and say in deep speech? <laughs> because I can speak deep speech. Yeah. Me Mitch, into the palace, down the stairs, stop them, defend the orb. Um. <laughs> I don't know no, if, like this fails. if this fails, I'll be delighted. So I'd like, I'd like to read you all the description of this creature. <laughs> Bayaki are large, dumb animals bred and trained for riding, but it is reasonable to assume that one could breed them for war as much as my, one might breed a hippogriff. Roll an animal handling <laughs> check for <laughs> me, <laughs> please. <laughs> Nothing could be more perfect it than, could it, could it. than this inevitable failed roll. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to pass it now because he said it. One. That is a modified 20. Yes! <laughs> As the Bayaki, these ant-like, dog-like, bat-like creatures hear this, they all just... <laughs> and they head off in a drove right before towards we go to the break, palace. I will turn to Rathora pluck my maul out of the air and go, 
shall we dance, Commander? <laughs> and that's where we're going to leave this hour of adventures, Roger. I can't leave the table now. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much for playing. Thank you so much for watching. Cat, please do hold us out. I this week this fast. My hands are going to burn off. Oh, brother, Jürgen has just tweeted to say, can he Skype or something? Because he can fix you. He can't. Quickly. Give the villain an Oscar. Yay. 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 I I have a uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. With that, <laughs> we've got to we'll see you later. Thank you very much. We'll see you in ten. See you Thanks very much. Oh. Hey, cheers very much, man. I'm sorry you guys have been screwed over a little bit there. <laughs> uh, no, I feel like I've played my part.